All right, guys, thanks for tuning back into Purdy Fishing. Big update for the channel, big upgrade for fishing. I went out and bought me a kayak. I am super excited about this thing. Uh, so much so I'm sitting in it right now and filming this video. Um, I'm gonna be going over the special features of this kayak and why I chose it for me specifically. So without further ado, let's introduce the Catch Power 100. Alright guys, now that I've introduced you to the Pelican Catch Power 100, let's go over some of the features and explain why I got it. Alright guys, so you may have seen it pop up in some of my videos or in the thumbnail of this one that I drive a Subaru Forester. It is short and is a smaller car. Now, this kayak in total length is only nine foot nine inches which makes it great for going on top of my car uh, and not sticking out where i need to put a um, a red flag on it or anything for other drivers and also another reason why i bought it in total width it is 38 inches which is one of the wider kayaks on the market along with it being one of the shortest kayaks on the market but this combo here makes it extremely stable just as stable as a 12 or 14 foot kayak that's also on the market for a lot more money i mean these things brand new are only 1100 dollars now but when they first came out they're grand so that's great that's a great price for what you get here uh, with the stability of it, I can stand up very easily on here. I took it for a test run like anyone should when they get a new kayak just to feel it out before you out there facing wind or trying to fish and the fish wants to go crazy and you don't know how to move on it. I went and tested it out first and you can easily stand on this thing. Um, let's go over why it is called the Catch Power 100 opposed to the catch 100 which is another pelican kayak uh, it's pretty simple pretty easy this thing is already pre-rigged to have an electric trolling motor on it and by that I'm going to show you that this already has a transom okay bolted onto it it's rated for a two and a half horsepower uh, outboard motor a gas motor which I think is absolutely nuts I'm not going to go that crazy uh, I am going to get a trolling motor for it eventually and when I do they come with a nice little adapter here okay that you can hook up to the trolling motor and it will plug right into here okay just like if you're on a bass boat or any other boat where you just plug the trolling motor right in like a bow mount but you have a nice one in the back and that wiring you know goes all the way up to the front where they've already taken care of the issue of a battery box for you um, where you can store your battery nice and dry underneath here and here's the wiring that comes out that hooks up to your battery and a strap to hold it down um, it also works if you're just paddling as storage i throw my tackle bag under there right now until i get a trolling motor and they give you dry storage as well right here it's not too deep i haven't found anything specific to put in it besides the uh, adapter that I just showed you, I have it stored in there for now, but they give you a ready to go, you know, vessel for a trolling motor where other brands, you often have to uh, kind of jerry rig or make your own mount for. And that was a really big deal to me because I wanted to be able to get a trolling motor on here uh, so that I didn't have to waste my time paddling all the way to a spot. I could just turn the trolling motor on there, get there easy, waste no energy, 
and start fishing the spots I want to fish. Uh, I mentioned that you can stand in this easily earlier and you can and they also give you a sea deck like foam right here that runs all the way from the front to the back and yes I have stood in the front and the back and you feel pretty nice it's not bad at all and they give you a built-in ruler here for measuring fish now the next point that I want to go over is how open this is so a lot of uh, other competitors and things will make a kayak that has big center console right here you know for fish finders or storage or anything and that was one of the big complaints people had on this was there's no, not enough storage but just the way I've always operated which is very minimalistic and the way that I've always been on kayak fishing was keep everything out of the way of your feet uh, so what they give you is these bungees right here with a strap that you can adjust on the tightness and I usually just stick my tackle box right here my water bottle right here because it is a half circle cut here for water bottles and such um, and I don't know it didn't bother me at all I liked it because like I said I wanted to stand on it I wanted to make sure that there's nothing in the way that I don't trip and eat shit on basically uh, they also give you four rod holders here in the back which are nice for when you're making your run out uh, but also I really want to touch on this ergo 360 seat by them the seats also have fully adjustable I mean really really easy I, they gotta just grip and turn um, fully adjustable seat for forward and back Let me loosen this one up and there's one right back here guys and you can move this no matter your height no matter where you're fishing or how you want your weight distributed goes back and forth super easily not only is it comfortable but it does exactly what it says and it spins 360 for you that is amazing especially for inshore angling uh, and you may be asking like why why is that amazing well let me tell you it's awesome guys because if you've ever fought anything like a Jack Craval they run everywhere and now you're in the water and they can literally run anywhere so let's say you hooked into a nice jack it's running it's gonna run to the left it's following it it's gonna run to the back you're following it runs all the way around the daggone boat you're following it doesn't matter where the fish goes you can follow it without doing awkward weird angles or messing up your back by trying to see where it's at. This really helps you kind of move with the fish so you can get landed or simply just getting in and out of it or uh, trying to land your fish. Uh, so seat's not locked in, so you don't have to lean really hard this way. You can actually just kind of turn and grab, which helps out a lot too. So it's a super important feature that I just, I really haven't seen in other uh, kayaks. Let's go over a quick checklist on why this kayak spoke to me. One, easy to get on off my little car. It only weighs 75 pounds. Uh, I think I forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video, but it only weighs 75 pounds, so it's not that bad. Two, it's wide like me. So, that means that my chunky butt can get in and out of it easily and stand up on it easily. So no complaints there. Three, that sweet swivel seat. That thing, it's gonna be a game changer. I can feel it. That thing's awesome. And four, finally, its main purpose in life, why it was created, easily be able to put a trolling motor on the back, almost plug and play, uh, 
with that power system they have with the battery going in the front and running through the kayak to the back just being able to plug right in and go that's fantastic so those are the main reasons why i got the catch power 100 and i can tell you that i am super excited and cannot wait to have this thing out in the water fishing um, if you guys like the video please like and subscribe it helps me out a ton and as always keep it pretty keep it clean see you guys next time